shopping for furniture and accessories, when should you splurge and when can you save? So Shai is back now and he's going to help all of us spend wisely. Wisely, you got yes. it. That's the key word. So when we look at this vignette here, everything here is pretty high end. And what tends to happen is that people go to a store and if it's a higher end store, they're just going to buy everything in that one store. Mm -hmm. If you plan carefully, you can save a lot of money. Okay, so, so don't do that. Don't do that. You don't need to go to a store okay. and then buy the whole set. You Absolutely. can mix and match like we do with our outfits. I was going to say that. So fashion. So think, you know, think about the, like the lower end stores. Mm -hmm. Some of the pieces can be from the lower end stores. Some of the yeah. pieces from the higher end stores. Yeah. Let's look at this uh, vignette that we have here and we'll deconstruct. Starting with the largest piece. Okay. So because this is a chair, this is an armchair, we're able to kind of move it around our house if we don't like it in the spot where it is. We really want to invest in that piece. Mm -hmm. That's a piece you're going to be sitting on. It's a piece you might be reading on, whether you put it in a guest bedroom, or you have it in your own bedroom. It's something that's going to carry, carry through with you through the years. Right. So invest in that. Now, we have this beautiful, gorgeous splurge so of an nice. ottoman. It's gorgeous. It's handmade, hand, uh, uh, hand woven, gorgeous. But I feel like you're putting your feet on it. Yeah. <laughs> this is maybe a place where you can save a little right. bit. Right. It doesn't so, have to be that fancy. Exactly. So I'm going to take this out and trace. You're going to pop that in. It has that same kind of feel. It has that same kind of textural feel to yeah. it. But you're saving tons of money with this, and it's still, we've broken up, there's no sets here, uh, it's not the matching one, and it gives a little bit of a, 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 an added dimension to it that you wouldn't have had otherwise. And totally comfy. Right? I love it. Um, let's look at some other places that we can save and maybe splurge. So we have this gorgeous uh, table here from EQ3. Mm -hmm. This is a two-tier solid maple. Mm -hmm. uh, the problem is, is that that's a little bit, of exp a little bit expensive. Yes. I want to get that same look. So I'm going to swap it out with this guy here, and it's nice. this reclaim piece. Yeah. Now, it's really easy, by the way, to go and you can find these pieces in nature, and you can do it on your own, or you can go to the kind of the bigger box stores and you can actually get these for pretty, pretty inexpensive. Yeah. And it has that same kind of beautiful look as well. Lovely. Now, now, one of the things that I do want to talk about is the throw. Okay. So the throw, you would think that maybe that's somewhere where you can save a little bit, but my feeling about it is you're wrapping yourself in it, you're using it all the time. So rather than have, you know, kind of a save, uh, save throw, splurge a little bit. Okay. This is alpaca. It's wow. beautiful. Alpacas are great fabric. This a feels great so fabric, good. Right? And I don't know how many of you are like me and you just dream of coming home to read your book and with your throw, you want it to be a nice piece. You got it. That and lasts for a long time. Alpaca's going to do that for you. Yeah, gorgeous. All right, let's head over here. Okay, so we've got rugs here. We've yes. got some lighting here. Where do you want to start? You got it. So let's start with the rugs. Okay. So with the rugs, I really wanted to talk about high, medium, low. Okay. The key thing about a rug is where is it going? Mm -hmm. Is it going in your living room? Is it in the foyer? Is it in, you know, where is it going? Is it, it a lot of muddy shoes on it? Not yes. really. Is it in the bedroom? So let's look at the three options that we have here. This is the higher end. Now, if you look at this trace, it has this beautiful uh, uh, weave in it. It almost looks like a, a sweater, doesn't yes. it? Yes. This is underfoot, has a beautiful feeling to it. You walk on it, it almost gives you like a little bit of a massage in your foot. Fantastic, and that's the higher end. That said, you wouldn't put that in a foyer where you're gonna get mud nope. all over it, because, well, that's a shame. Nope, you're gonna be <laughs> right? yelling at everyone that walks in your house. Everyone get off my get rug. Out of so let's look at the middle of the way. Okay. So the middle of the way is the same natural fiber. That was natural fiber, mm -hmm. but this is a two side, and it has that really low pile. So it's something that's easy to care for. Yeah. You're gonna be able to use it in a foyer. You're gonna be able to use it in a mud room, and you're not gonna kill yourself when it gets dirty. Lovely. Right? Okay. Finally, uh, or the last rug, is going to be kind of the, the save. And this is, it has a beautiful design on it. That's a nice save. It's a really nice save, right? Like, that's nicer than the rug in our foyer. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> so lovely. this is 100% synthetic. Oh, that's great. But you're going to save a little bit. It has yeah. a really nice look to it, and, and you're great. Let's talk a little bit about the lighting. Okay. So would you think, if I said to you, if you're going to save or splurge on your ceiling light, what would you do? I would actually splurge on my ceiling light. Okay, and why? Um, I think lighting is crucial, okay. and I also think that if you're going to have layered lighting, yeah. maybe that piece in the middle should be the place where you spend the good money, and then some of the layered pieces you might be able to save a little bit She's more way on. too smart. Like, it's <laughs> like, you know, I mean, <laughs> why don't you even ask the question? <laughs> So absolutely, so this is kind of the save, this yeah. is the splurge. Right. This is a very well-known uh, designer lamp, this is the save. Now that said, I am with you. Mm -hmm. Splurge a little bit on the ceiling lamp because that's something that's a fixture, yeah. whether or not you're gonna sell your house in the future or not, that's called what's, what's called a chattel, so it's something that's actually gonna stay in the yes. home and it's gonna add, the, uh, add value to your home.
You're looking at it every day, and it's exactly. like it's a, it's a crucial part of the room, I think. Exactly. Now let's talk about task lamps, though. Mm -hmm. That said, we were speaking about the task lamps. You're talking about layered lighting, super yep. important. Would you save or would you splurge on a task lamp? Uh, I would actually save on that. Okay, and why? I would. Um, for, to me, it's not. It's just not as crucial, and there might be a whole bunch of them. And and you know, I th I, I think you 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 make a good point. I think the thing to to kind of think about is: Are you using this every day? Is this a desk lamp that mm. you're reading at? Is this mm. your work desk? You know, so yeah. then you might want to invest a little bit. If not, you can get that same kind of look and go again with a, a, a save. Right. That said, consider LED lights. That's very nice. As opposed to uh, uh, incandescent. Yeah, like that's the gorgeous. This is the this is this the is splurge. the LED. Yeah, this is the splurge. That's pretty. It has a cute little USB in there. Aww. Super cool. Oh, that's yes. very nice. Okay, lovely, uh, lovely items, but really good lessons. I yeah. love that. And